this world the third day of creation and from his outstretched hand he scattered seed then he said let there be man let him walk upon the land the sky above the earth beneath his feet on this peaceful sunday morning Take the time to say a simple prayer or two Cause you'll never really know When he wants you to go Might even be before the day is through I'm number one in line to get to heaven The good Lord said he'd save a place for me and though I'm in no great rush, I ain't gonna make a fuss when I hear that man calling out to me on this peaceful Sunday morning. Take the time to say a simple prayer or two, cause you'll never really know when he wants you to go Might even be before the day is through Might even be before the day is through Well, folks, looks like we've got some action in Peel County. Police are on the lookout for a dark green 1967 Buick, believed to be carrying the three men who robbed the city bank yesterday. This report follows an announcement of a second death in a robbery. The 22-year-old teller, Richard Martin, in critical condition since the shooting, died early this morning. He leaves his 19-year-old wife and three-month-old baby. Lucy! This is the voice of the Tri-Counties, bringing you music, news, and weather all day, every day. Last thing I'd like to do Before you say goodbye Forget church. I haven't finished making the stew yet. Come on, girl, get dressed. We'll be late. I don't suppose you care to go without me. Just this once. As long as you're back living in my house, you won't miss church. Now scoot. Church gone might help reduce the swelling of your head some. It certainly cleanses the soul a lot. It's kind of you to offer. I'll see you later. <laughs> You got to dress a little longer for church going? No. I'll drive, Gramps. No, you won't. Get in. Please, Gramps. No, I said. Get in.
toil of fifty summers left him older than his years, but he wouldn't trade for gold the life he found. Forty acres of sorrow, that's what this land has always been. Need any help? Oh, no, thanks. It's all fixed. Good. What do you got here? What are you, what are you doing? Give me the keys. What? Give me the keys. You must be crazy. Come on, come on. Give me the keys. <laughs> Get me! I'm sure they'll be all right. I know. Hi, Claire. <laughs> Lucy, nice to see you back. Uh, privilege of the clergy. <laughs> How's school? Fine. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Bet you're glad to have her back, eh, Adam? Save you cooking and doing the dishes. <laughs> Bye, now. Bye, Bye. Eddie, good to have you back. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Reverend. Where are you? Hello, Ralph. You're looking well. Lucy. Do you like college, meeting any nice boys? Love your hair like that. Thank you. I just hope they stop by my place. I got a couple of barrels. What do you think about those stuff? killers, Adam? Uh, what about them? If anybody in this county can stop them, uh, well, I'd say Tom would do it, wouldn't you? Lucy, you Adam. Come on, my Hello there, Bert. Hey, you wait. Adam, uh, I've uh, been meaning to drop over and talk to you. Well, we can't sit back and let them sit and folks legislate against us. That don't do nobody any good. Farmers got to stick together, make themselves heard. Do you remember Lucy? Why, Lucy, my, you're looking fine. Thanks, Mr. I was just telling your grandfather here that he's got to start coming to Grange meetings again. That ain't no use. 
Why, there's no place for a small farmer anymore, Bert. That's why we gotta stand together, Adam. Wow. That's why we gotta keep the Grange going. You and I know, Bert, that all that Grange amounts to is a bunch of uh, dang fools that don't know when they're late. The government's got them beat. Lucy, will you please talk some sense into this old bear and make sure he comes to the next meeting? I'll try, Mr. Conway. Bye-bye. Bye. That's the car, all right, Tom. Thanks, Harvey. Harvey? Central here. Suspect car on Highway 35, about two miles east of Locust Hill. Alert Highway Patrol. I'm going on a 10-7. You read me? I read. Hello? Hello, this is Harvey at base. Come in, please. Yes, Harvey. Over. Must have. Glasses. Here. Goddamn roadblock. There's a dirt road back there. They didn't see us. You big timer sure spook easy. You know what I would have done, Donnelly? Nobody gives a shit what you would have done. You've done enough already. Hey, knock it off! <laughs> Is that a road up there? It looks like it used to be. Turn in, go as far as you can. Maybe it'll come out somewhere beyond that roadblock. What do you think? Ah, we can't get across that. Ah, oh, Christ. Now what? Uh... Take the stuff out of the car. I'll dump it in the trees. Yeah, okay. We'll have to walk from here. What the hell are you doing, Danelli? Shut up! Kids, 
What they want to do that? Killer. That's simple. I'll call Pembroke. We'll get into town. Right. Okay, come on. You drive. I want to call in. Car 47 reporting. Come in, dispatcher. Come in, car 47. We have here a double homicide on Highway 35, Tri County area, almost hill. Something decent on that radio. We'd have heard it before we got to church. Police think they may be heading this way. Oh. Uh, they killed two bank tellers. I gotta pick up a couple of bags of that new fertilizer. Hello, good morning, Alan. Good morning, John. Let's fix it, Mr. Edwards. Thanks, Eddie. I'll stop by tomorrow and check it again. Good morning, Mr. Smith. Right. Well, John, how's the bag? Oh, same as ever. Bob said you were stopping by today. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Eddie. Hi, when did you get back? Day before yesterday. But, you know, let me put this in the truck. OK. How'd it go? OK. Two A's, two B's, and a C. You? Nowhere. I failed French and math. No man freaked out when he heard it. Got me a friendly job. Okay. Do you work on Sundays, too? Or do you just like traveling around, showing off your swell Batman utility belt? No, I just work with emergencies every other week. Hmm. You look really nice, Lucy. Thanks. So do you. I missed you. But you never bothered to write. You know I me, mean, I don't like to start anything I can't finish. Such a thing as write now and play later, you know? I'll write you the next time. Okay? Yeah, okay. Morning, Adam. Morning, to Tom. See Lucy's back. Yep. Okay. Uh, day before yesterday, we found Timmy Peterson on the county highway, shot dead. Jenny Logan, too. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Well, we passed him on our way to church this morning. He he was changing a tire. <laughs> yeah. He had the boldest set of tires I ever saw. We found that boy less than six miles from your place. Maybe the killers drove off and we'll catch them at one of the roadblocks. Maybe they're wandering around in the bush. Did you keep your eyes open, will you, Adam? Call in if you see something. your breath and keep walking. You'd have been better off in the city. 
There's millions of places to hide in this city. We haven't any choice anymore. This whole area is probably blocked off. We're in this mess because you had to be a big man and knock out those two tellers. Yeah? Somebody had to fucking waste them. You didn't have the balls for it. Oh, it'd give me real pleasure to lose you out here, so don't push too hard. Get off my back, Ackerman. You know how long it's gonna take to find them bodies out there, huh? Watch it. Next time I'll kill you, you little punk. Fuck off, Ackerman. No, oh, no more trouble. Bastard. Yeah. Let's go. Sooner or later, we'll hit a farm. Hey. What did I tell you? Let's go. What's wrong, Gramps? Wrong? Nothing's wrong. Why? Well, I don't know. Ever since I came home, you've been... Well, sort of grouchy. Well, I'm fine. Well, then why haven't you been going to the Grange? You never used to miss the Grange means any more than you do church. Ah, uh, there ain't no sense in going to the Grange. The land just don't pay anymore. It's all any of us can do to just get by. All the farmers' troubles end up around some local politician who's afraid to make any demands on any higher politician who's also afraid to step on somebody else's toes for fear they won't get reelected. <laughs> so we suffer. I tell you, this country's going to damnation. Nothing else but going to damnation. I'm a girl. She's going in the house. I see. The guy's just going in. I gotta cut the phone wire. Hey. There's a pole over there. Where? Over there. Stay behind the hill so they can't see you. Would do is get a shit job. Do it. Here. And that crazy bastard falls up this job, I'll blow his brains out. All he has to do is cut the wire. Hungry? Uh. I'll be about 20 minutes. What's this? Cooking with a book. <laughs> you make it sound like it's a crime. Well, it is a crime. You're not doing for yourself. You're taking the easy way. Aw, oh, come on. Grandma used to swap recipes with everyone in town. Yeah, that's because they were made up by your grandma. That's why. Not copy that or no book. Well, what difference does it make? It's just easier having all the recipes in a book than on scraps of paper. Yeah. That's what's wrong with this world today. Everybody keeps making things easier. So nobody has to lift a finger. Uh, What's wrong, Gramps? Well, there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Except, uh, I do want to tell you how nice it is to have you back, Lucy. You remind me a lot of your mom. Grandma, Emmy, and me, we 
Never could figure out why she run off the way she did. Not a word to either one of us, just... Maybe her dying was the best thing could have happened. You shouldn't say that. Dying's good for some folks, if life ain't worth living. Trouble, all right. I'll call the vet. Lucy, turn that thing down a little. What? Turn down the radio a little, will you? I gotta call the vet. Is the car still having trouble? Yeah. Nothing you can... Uh, Lucy! This is Tri-County Radio bringing you music and news from the Tri-County area. More news on those bank robbers. Police confirmed discovery of a double homicide on Highway 35 east of Locust Hill. At the scene of the killings was the car, reportedly a green Buick sedan, the car the bank robbers made their getaway in from the city. The motive for the double murder is still unknown, but believed to have been concerned with the car theft. The victims have been identified as Jennifer Logan and Timothy Peterson, both of Locust Hill. Citizens are warned to be on the lookout for three men dressed in business suits. They are armed and dangerous. Yesterday, two of the men masquerading as businessmen entered a city bank and shot and killed two tellers. The police are now convinced that they have them sealed off in the Tri-County area and are closing the net. So folks on this happy Sunday... Can't we do something for her, Luke? The vet will help, maybe. to say to Adam. I promise. You are a powerful, better cook than he is ever going to be. Thanks, Luke. You better get washed up for dinner now. Dinner 
be ready in about five minutes, Gramps. Uh -huh. Peter. Oh, look. The phone's out of order. I can't get the vet. She's still got time. Yeah. Uh, Luke, you listen to me good, huh? Mm. I, I want you to tie up the dogs, and I want you to stay here until I call for you. You understand? Good. Now you stay. been gone a few minutes. Get off his back, Maury. We got enough trouble. Yeah, and who's to blame, huh? Huh. I hope you cut the right one. Yeah, come here. Sure, go. He's not coming. How come? Well, he's doing something. He'll he'll take his dinner later. Oh. Uh, I got the bread. <clears throat> What's he doing? Uh, he's fixing a harrow. Can't that wait until after? Oh we... Lord, for what we are about to receive, we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Can't the hair will wait until after we've eaten? Need it first thing in the morning. Well, Luke's got to have his dinner sometime. He might as well have it now while it's nice and hot rather than later. Lucy, why don't you just tend to your cooking and I'll uh, run the farm, huh? Thank you. You're welcome. Some bread? Yes, please. Thank you. <sighs> Out of a book. I expect you'll be seeing a lot of that Paul boy this summer. Eddie, not if he's working. Huh. Weekends, maybe. He was telling me they fixed up the old pavilion down by the lake. Oh, I hadn't heard that. You won't mind, will you? Huh? Uh, mind what? If Eddie and I go to the pavilion. Hmm. The pavilion. Hmm. I remember when that was first open. Just before the war. Ooh, what a time that was. <laughs> hey, Grandma Emmy, she'd made that pink flower dresser her special. 
But she was the prettiest thing there. Oh, she was pretty. <laughs> I can see her now just spinning across that shiny new floor and the, the moon dancing on the lake right along with her. Oh, she was the prettiest thing. Dance? Oh. <laughs> Take off your coat, remember. My car broke down. Yeah. Hold your gun and put it away. And you know, those two was bound and determined to keep up with each other until it meant going home for chores. They didn't <laughs> care about chores. And neither were we. We were just dang fool, just watching every little thing they did. <laughs> we never would have known it. Well, we didn't care. In those days, we just didn't care. <laughs> Seems like we got company. Who is it? Lucy, I think you better go upstairs. Ma'am, so those are three men that... Could be. They're not local. It's not working. You knew it wasn't working. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to worry you. I'll go get Luke. No! You want us all to get killed? No, no, honey. Look, you, you just go on upstairs. Go ahead. Come on. Go on upstairs. Everything will be all right. I'll take care of it. Go on upstairs, honey. Gramps, be careful. Just like I told you. Good sir. Uh, my car broke down on the road. Is there a mechanic around here someplace? Uh, there's one in town. Do you mind if I use your phone? Well, sure. Uh, come in, help yourself. Thanks. Uh, phone's right over there. It's all right, Lucy. It's all right. You go on back inside. Go ahead. Everything's fine here. Drop your pants. Drop them.
Pick him up, Luke. Now march. Bring him, Luke. Now you can come to dinner. No. No, thank you. What are you going to do? Finish my dinner. It's cold. Oh, don't matter. Well, what did you do with them? I covered over the one outside and tied up the other two. We have to get the police. I'll drive to the Conways and phone from there. Now the phone could be out there, too. And then I'll go into town. Well, there's, there's time enough. What for? For you to sit down there and eat the rest of your dinner. Oh, Gramps, I can't eat anything. Least of all, cold stew. Well, warm it up, then. The police are looking for them. We can't keep them here. Well, I got every right. <laughs> Trespassing on my land, carrying guns, threatening lives. You're not listening to me. You had a perfect right to do what you did, but now that it's done, you have to notify the police. By and by. Now, Lucy, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's not nothing, Gramps. For God's sakes, why would you want to keep them here a minute longer than you have to anyway? Well, I'm... Um... I'm cooling them off. Well, what does that mean? Lucy, these fellas just didn't drop by to pass the time of day, you know. They'd have killed the three of us and took off in the truck if I hadn't been ready for them. I'm sick and tired of reading about these, these hoodlums terrorizing people. I think it's about time that, that someone taught their kind a lesson. Grabs they wanted for murder. They'll either hang or go to jail for life. The way the law is today, they'll probably get 60 days with two months off for good behavior. For God's sakes, Graham, you're not the law. No. But um, they could learn a lesson or two while they're here. What kind of lesson? I'm thinking on it. Where are you going? To the bathroom. Lucy, you're not worried about them. No. But I'm beginning to worry about you. Well, now, there's no need. I've always protected mine and my own. I don't intend to stop now.
Gramps. No, no, no. I know what you're going to say. Uh, don't you worry about a thing. You just play your radio and stop your fretting. Everything's going to be all right. Sure nice of you fellas to drop by. Nothing like spending a Sunday in the country. Yes, sir. And nothing like good old country air. Yes, sir. None of that smog and pollution like you got in the city. Uh-uh. <laughs> so go ahead, breathe deep while you got the chance. You fellas got names? Well, don't matter. <laughs> oh, by the way, those iron rings are what we used to use to chain the bull up there when, when we didn't want to mess around the cows. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. Which one of you shot Timmy Peterson and his girl? No, no nobody but a name! You crazy old bastard! Take his goddamn chains off us! I figured it was you. You looked the type. Pretty little handguns you got here. I, I used to do a little bit of handgunning myself, you know. Oh, just an old coat revolver, and, and then just against uh, bottles and tin cans. Nothing interesting. And nothing fancy like these. Yes, sir. You mind if I try one? I might be a bit off my aim, but uh, they say that uh, once you learn something, you can't ever forget. a little bit to the right. Of course, it wouldn't matter too much, though. The way you fellas use them up close. Uh, yes, Lucy? I heard a shot. No, 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 no. Now there's nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Ah, uh, don't you worry. Now you go on back to the house. Go on. You hear me? That's a good girl. Now, would you, Lucy? Gramps, please, let me go get the police. Now, Lucy, I told you not to worry. Stop your fretting and go in and play your music. I don't want to play any damn music.
you see? You wouldn't want me to let him go now, would you, Lucy? There comes a time when a man has to do what he thinks is right. Well, maybe you better stay right up here. I'll tend to things. Kid said he saw a green Buick heading north on six. Turned out it didn't know a Buick from a Chevy. <laughs> What's up there? Not much. We were just checking the woods off the highway. Conway Farms in about two miles. Adam Smith's about five. They're here someplace. The way we got it blocked, they can't get out. Just gotta keep looking, that's all. Yeah. We'll go east. See ya. See ya. Come on, I'll spell you. Okay. Six feet. You want to check Conway's and Adams? No. I don't think they're in that far. Let's go this way. Keep going. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Oh. All right, get down in there. Oh. Let's go. Oop. I gone. Oh. Lucy. Perhaps you split on you. <laughs> I nearly made it that time, didn't I? Yeah. 
free. She's going for the first part. <laughs> Look! 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 Come on, man! Come on, Luke! Luke, Lucy's on her way over to the Conways. Now you take the truck and bring her back. You understand? Bring her back! All right, let's go. Why is he so hung up on me? Because you're a prick. best. We are lucky. We could have all been killed. But you caught them! They get what they deserve. Adam will see to that. He's a good man. He's wrong, Luke. You know it's wrong to try and take the law into your hands. If we don't stop him, there'll be another murder. Please, Luke, you've got to let me go. I don't wish to have any troubles with Adam, Miss Lucy. It is up to us to stand by him. You come back. No, Luke, we've got to do what we think's right. I don't give orders, Miss Lucy. You come back. <laughs> <laughs> Get back half the bread. Less water. You know, I think that little chick likes what that old dude's doing. For sure. Hey, Dale. As we, he's dragging me up here. I see her running down the road. And she's going to get the fuss. Yeah. What are we going to get? Get a chance for a break. We ain't got nothing now. You know that old man's mental. See how close it came to fucking blowing my head off? Not close enough.
Lucy, I wish you hadn't done that. But don't treat me like a child. I hadn't noticed I was. I can leave when I want. You can't keep me here. Well, sure you can. Sure I can. Oh, now I know why Ma ran away. Lucy, are you going to let them killers come between us? Do you know what you're saying? Well, of course I do. And they ain't worth it. If they ain't worth it, then why in the hell are you doing it? Now, there's no need to swear. And I told you. You haven't told me a goddamn thing. Now, don't use the Lord's name in vain. Do you call shady people on the manure pile more righteous than using the Lord's name in vain? And what was that shot? Well, I was just scaring them a little. Why? What for? Well, I got my reasons. What possible reason can anyone have for chaining two people on a manure pile and shooting at them? Well, if it makes you feel any better, I got them in the cellar and nobody's hurting them. What are you waiting for? Grandma to come back from the grave and pickle them? The old guy is just gonna leave here, here to die. Lady, call the cops, please. I tried. You agree. There's nothing I can do. It's our hands. I did, you couldn't get away. If my grandfather killed you, the police would. Anything's better than this. Thank you. 
Same way you came. talk to you for a minute. There's nothing to talk about. Well, I'd like to explain something. All right, if I come in? What difference does it make? Lucy, I wasn't going to let nothing happen to you, honey. But Luke and me was right close by. to prove something to you. What did you have to prove? That they kill as soon as draw breath. Oh, my God, you mean... You told me then this fellow because you're not... Oh, I don't believe it. Well, all our talking didn't do no good, so I had to do what I did, because... Well, they'd have killed you and me as quick as they killed Timmy Peterson and his girl this morning. Must have done it while I was right at the
I'm just down the road. I came to fix your phone. I tried to call. Your line was out. What's wrong? Oh, please come and get me! You fellas have been down here long enough. Now, just don't get any ideas. Just take off your chains and get those things on. something better than that. I'm going to let one of you drive into town and get them yourselves. The other one can stay here and keep me company. That ain't funny, Pop. Wasn't meant to be. Well, now, who goes and who stays? I mean it. Who goes and who stays? I'll go. Like hell you will. Fuck off, actor. Shut up. First way is to toss a coin. You call it. Who's kidding who here? You're not gonna let nobody drive that truck off alone? Call it. Heads. <laughs> All right, now pick it up. Pick it up. Heads. Are you acting? <laughs> You bastard, you're yeah. gonna screw me. Go on. Fuck her off, you little prick. Get out of here. <laughs> That's enough. Ackerman, you ain't gonna leave me alone with him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to worry about. Now, the keys are in the truck. But before you go, I want you to meet a couple of friends of mine, Peter and Paul. <whistles> <whistles> Gentlemen, 
Peter and Paul. Named after the good book. That don't necessarily make them gentle, though. Fact is, they don't take too much to strangers. Now, go ahead, mister. Get in the truck. Oh, you gotta be crazy. Crazy? I'm giving you more chance than you gave Timmy Peterson and this girl. I didn't do it, he did! Oh, he'll get his chance, too. Go on. Go on. Now it's your turn. Maybe you'll be faster than your friend. No. No. Give, no, no, give me a chance. Give, give me a chance. But I am giving you a chance. No. No, you, you, you can't do this to me. Looks like you took care of everything, Adam. You'll find their suitcase just inside the door. And another dead body under the tarpaulin. Well, maybe you better come in tomorrow and make a statement, though, huh? I'll stay in town for a while until I decide what I'm going to do. Well, you'll be needing your clothes. What about your radio? Somebody can come back for them later. Hey, thanks, baby. Come on.
better get that one into town. Take care, Adam. Can I give you a lift anywhere? No, thank you. God made this world the third day of creation And from his outstretched hand he scattered seed